Hi. In today's video, we will see how we can create charts like these to represent the gold medals, silver medals, bronze medals, and the total tally of the Tokyo Olympic 2020. So let's get started. We'll be using these four packages. And you know that you can install those packages by clicking here and then giving the name of your package and then clicking on install. Otherwise, you can also use install.packages and give the name of your package like this. But we won't be using it because we already have these packages installed. Now, we'll go to this website and look at the medal tally. So if I refresh this, you would see a table which shows the total tally of each country. And this is number one is the gold medals, number two is the silver, number three is the bronze. So let's get this data imported into R, the URL from that website. I'm using the RVEST package and I'm saying I want to read this URL as an HTML. And then once I get the data into this data frame, I want to extract the HTML table which was representing the metal tally. And there was only one table in that, so that's why I'm saying I want to extract the first table out of that. So if I run everything together, I should get the data. And notice that these three columns are blank. So this is the, the gold, silver, and bronze. So we'll fix that. So if I look at the names of the of the data set, we would see that we have three blank ones, gold, silver, and bronze is a blank. So I'm just going to use another list of names there. So in the third column, I'm putting gold, fourth is silver, and fifth is bronze. And if I run this, and if I run the names command again, we have gold, silver, and bronze where it was blank before. So, so far so good. Now let's define the colors which we want to use for our charts. So this is as near as we can go for the gold color, silver color, and bronze color. So using the dplyr command, I'm using the pipe and saying that I want to select two columns, the team column and the gold column, which gives the total number of gold for the country or the team. And then I want to arrange it with the descending order of gold. So the highest uh, number of gold medals should be at the top. And I only want to see the top 10. So I'm saying head 10. So if I run this, I get another data frame, which is only showing the top 10 countries based on their gold medals. So now is the time to plot our ggplot. So here is the plot which we, we can use, saying that the data is the gold medals, the, the table which we just created above. And I want to reorder it based on, on, the, on the gold medals. So the first bar should be the highest number of gold. And on the y-axis, we want to have gold. And then I want to fill it by the gold color, which we just created up here. And rest all is uh, about putting the label in there. And if I run this together, we should have a plot. So this is the gold medals tally, the top 10 countries. Similarly, I can do the same thing for the silver medals, for the bronze medals. Notice that I'm using bronze there instead of gold or silver there now. And lastly, I would create another chart saying total medals, which is based on the total number of medals, which is gold plus silver plus bronze, which is already defined in our data set. And lastly, I'll put this chart into another chart object called PL4. And lastly, I want to use all the four charts together. So I want to say PL1, PL2 should be in the top. And then at the bottom, I want to see PL3 and PL4. So all the four charts together. And this is due to the patchwork package. So if I run everything from the top together, if everything is okay, we should get four charts. There we go. The, the gold medal tally, the silver medal tally, the bronze medal tally, and the total medals. Similarly, I can do one more variation of that, and I'll quickly copy all the code in there, and I'll explain the first one. So instead of the total number of medals, I just want to see what's the percentage of the overall gold medals which a country has taken. So using the mutate command in dplyr, saying that I want to create a column called percentage, and I want to divide the gold columns for that country with the total number, and then multiplying it by 100 and rounding it to the one digit. So if I run this chart, you would see a similar chart, but now it's showing the percentage. So United States has taken 11.5% of all the gold medals for all the countries. Not for these top 10 countries, but for all the other countries which we didn't show. 
Similarly, we have silver and, and, and bronze as well. So if I run all the code together. So in this chart, we are actually getting the percentage rather than the total number of. So that's all I wanted to cover in this video. I hope you like this video. Thank you very much for watching it and I'll see you in the next one.